In the previous videos, we have laid the ground for some awesome moshing of two-dimensional data. In this episode, we will look at another method for generating wavetables to create interesting drone sounds. But first, I have altered the picking poly patch in such a way that we can employ it for real polyphony, not only upsampling. To achieve this, we have to include a this poly in the patcher and send it a mute zero comma one message. This will unmute the voice and mark it as busy. Through the inlet, we now receive a list of two frequencies that we then have to unpack. Outside, we specify that we now want two voices and activate the add steel attribute. Otherwise, we would have to manually mute and release the voice in the poly subpatcher. Furthermore, I have again added a low res low pass filter so we can fully concentrate on the jitter part. Refer to the source code if you want to follow along from here. Jitter includes the JIT BFG object, which is used to generate what is called basis function graphs, which can in turn be used for geometry or texture generation or other 2D and 3D graphics related stuff. We, however, will once more use it for the creation of waveforms. Since this process can be CPU intensive depending on the used function, we downsample to one image every 100 milliseconds. That's more than enough for now. Let's look at the help patch. We'll copy and paste the basis attribute, uh, the scale property and the JIT normalize object. Let's take a look. We have to adapt the matrix dimensions to 1024 by 1024, otherwise we're good. Let's add a live slider to adjust the scale between 1 and 20. The JIT normalize object normalizes the matrix to cell values between 0 and 1. We can select different basis functions such as a simple sign, a sawtooth or noises. Let's listen to a few. To do this, we need to send a node message to the poly containing the two peaking frequencies. Remember, a node message is sent to the first non-busy voice, or a stolen one in our case. We can verify that by opening that voice. One problem we face is if we scale the image with our slider here, there are audible clicks because the image processing is far slower than the audio sample rate. Where this an envelope calculation, we'd add a line object in between to interpolate the values. Turns out we can do something similar here. We will use a trick normally employed in computer vision, more precisely motion detection, to process the current with a previous image in the stream. That trick consists of adding a trigger list list object and hijack Max's right to left depth first message traversal. We pipe the right list outlet to our wavetable matrix and the left back to a JIT crossfade object in a feedback loop, which we will discuss in a moment. Let's enable debugging and add four breakpoints to see what is going on. Coming into the crossfader, the matrix is then passed to the trigger list list. It first goes off to the wavetable, then back to the right inlet of the crossfader. That way, Always the previous image is present on this right inlet. Be careful not to mix up that ordering, otherwise your patch will blow up. 
So we use this crossfade object to interpolate between successive images, providing a smooth transition and avoiding those clicks. If we add another knob here, we have another parameter to do sound design with. We provisioned our patch for two voice polyphony, so let's add the second voice and play around with it a little. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did recording it and already have a ton of ideas of where to go with this. Feel free to reach out to me, I'd love to hear about it. 